you know, move or something and just raise attention a little bit and then pull? I guess we could come on. Could try that, I guess. Yeah, it did a little bit more damage. I mean, it makes sense that it did. We don't have a lot of time to use this. Let's try it out again. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's working better. Fuck you. Whoa, hey, what's up? <laughs> almost there, almost there. I think we just need to pull it once now. Once we find it. Oh, we should be going the other way and not losing life. Whoa, roll! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My god, that was close. Where is it? Come on, Master Flesh. Why are you being such a dick? I want to feed you to my girlfriend. Come on. It's noble. Where? God damn, Master Flesh. God damn you. Get over here. There it is. Ah, grab onto it. Pull. Thank you. Pull it. Okay. All right. We did it. <laughs> Pretty cool. That was a sloppy run. <laughs> Sloppiest session ever. Alright, pretty cool. Our chain is better. The master has been defeated and the chain has regained some power. You know, the usual. Anything else that I might have missed in this here area? Doesn't seem that way. Alright. Pretty cool. Alright, let's make our way back. And give uh, Elena some more master flesh and get a little bit more of an insight into the game's backstory. Because I th that's what seems to happen every time we give her some master flesh. She gets some sort of you know, uh, she gets some visions. Yeah, and th yeah, she's already turned into a monster at this point, which is, you know, bad. We can recover from that, we can recover from that. Where is she? She is up there, alright. Probably looking like a little bit monsterish. Sorry I was too late? M Magda said. She said this would keep happening to me until the curse was lifted. I'm sorry, Aaron. I'm just a bit... You know... Let's lift the curse. Mm, it's, it's not your fault. Technically it's not her fault. Both of them are good, I guess. Both of the choices. Let's lift the curse. I guess this one is more morale lifting. Anything dangerous, though. I'd hate to see you get hurt. Alright, that's cool. Give Master Flesh. <gasps> Got to. There's nothing I can't make. Boys will be boys, I suppose. <sighs> He's the spitting image of you, with that blonde hair of his. I was never this naughty, of course. I'm so happy. Me too. Mm. So that's why he was scared of that. I'm not sure why. But somehow, I feel so happy. Oh. 
Yes, I want to save the game. research you know yeah you reported back on your findings in the towers and we put our heads together we think these dreams are linked to the monsters from which the master flesh comes how do you figure that what are the masters well, now, the masters are a sort of living weapon Created half a century ago. This observatory and the 13 towers were once used by the army of Illyria. Yes, we knew that. They experimented with making weapons from living things. Hmm. Well, that is a good question. But I'm afraid we don't have the foggiest idea. Hmm. Okay, let's know, let's learn more about the scar. The scar is the deep valley over which the thirteen towers hang suspended. No one knows what lies in the depths of this valley. Shouldn't people, you know, maybe try to find out? Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe it's good down there. Maybe there's candy. I don't know. The rumor has it. That it's connected to the other world. Why do humans always do that? Like, they assume the worst every time. Uh, what is the other world? It's a world no one knows the first thing about. Or so they say. How about tower items? What items? The weapons you find belong to the Illyrian army. Then there are items from the other world. Hmm. Other world items can only be found in the Thirteen Towers. They're highly prized by some. <laughs> so keep bringing them back. Fair enough. Uh, I think we're done with the questions. Well, we'll be going. Going where? Oh, well, I guess you mean you and the thing on your back. Alright, okay, okay, well, let's, we have some items and some, some money, let's sell the flesh that we have, and then see what she has for sale this time. Because every time we give her new things, to get some brand new stocking. yeah, this happens. The Illyrian army have been very active of late. It means I've managed to stock up. The army are good for business, at least. Yeah, why are they active? Perhaps it's your land of Athos meddling once again. The Harvest Festival incident embarrassed the army. But do they have the time to seek you? They have bigger fish to fry. Skirmishes continue between the armies of Illyria and Athos. Don't worry your pretty little head. We're on the lookout. Hmm. It's simple economics. War means business. Even the likes of us get scraps from the table. That does make sense. All if right. If you need me, you know where I'll be. You're going to see some new items for sale. You've got some flesh growing spare? Yes, I I'll do. Buy it off. Well, let me well, no, well, you're cheap, but okay. I'll buy that off you if it's all right with you. For well, this kind of information, yeah, so okay, it's sure. time to open for business. All right, let's talk to her, see what she has to say to Towers. Have you ever heard tell of a type of ice that doesn't melt? No. There are records of it being found in the Wellspring steeple. Said to be extremely fragile, it has only ever been found in waterways at night. Hmm. One theory is that it forms in waterways at night, but then the force of the water 
Well, by the time morning arrives, it has been broken into fragments too small to be seen. Anyway, I'll leave it there for today. <laughs> I wonder, does that mean we're going to find them in, you know, at the base of, uh, of the waterway? Was I there wonder. something else you wanted? All right, okay, well, let's see what she has to sell. Here's what's in stock today. Yeah, what do you have today? You have some blue drapes. Tangle drape, this is new. With an intricate design. We have the red and the blue already, and we have we got a pot of geranium earlier. Flowering plants, okay. And some pure tea leaves. This is an ideal gift as well. All right, we have a lot of items, I see. There's some lore. Gunpowder, what does this do? Military grade gunpowder used both in weaponry and in mining. Alright, oil, mercury. Ooh, I guess we can buy items if we need and and uh, if we need some extra for, for weapon upgrading and such. That is good to know. Alright, so with my money, I'm going to buy some gifts. I could buy either one of this and some pure tea leaves or. Hmm. Or some tangled drape. I wonder what she'd like more. I guess get her two gifts. These that two. Will okay. Cost you this much. Place in trunk. And that these will place cost in trunk. There we go. Is there something else you wanted? No, I'm fine. I just want to try and upgrade some weapons. How about this? Still can't. All right. I see. How about this one then? Can I do? Oh, I can do this one. Okay. Can do this one. Sure. All right, pretty cool. So it, we don't really have to upgrade them in order. That is good to know. Choose a way to forge. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Something else you wanted. Yeah, I think oh, I'm good for now. You don't need to give me anything in return. War to rage again. War to rage again. A retaliation planned against the kingdom of Athos. The army have announced that they believe the harvest festival incident to be a plot hatched in Athos with the aim of murdering our monarch and his advisors and seizing control of our kingdom. The army's swift response meant that no casualties resulted, but retaliation is being plotted for this cowardly attack. This looks likely to be the largest scale hostilities since the armistice... Is armistice... is this how you say this? Was, si was signed. The army have vowed to find the culprits behind this plot, Elena and Aaron. Wow, really? Are we the scapegoats for this? The army will do all it can to set the people's minds at rest. Farewell for now. I think we have bigger fish to fry than, you know, plotting some sort of revolution. Alright, okay. Let's give her the items that we got and uh, make her happy. So the army made weapons from living things, and eating them is meant to cure me. I really don't know. Let me just do something. One, two, three, good. If you notice on the left, I don't know if I'm counting this right, but it seems like there is about 13 dots over there. That might, Those might be, in my opinion, they could be seals that you break every time you give her some Master Flesh. Those are likely to be caps of affinity, so you, you can't just pump affinity into her and reach the, the top level at the very beginning. That's what I'm assuming they are. I'm, other than that, I have no clue. Um, okay, let's talk to her about some things. I've told you about those dreams I have when I eat the master flesh, haven't I? Sure have. There's always this really nice close family. A lively little boy who's loved by his mother and father. They look ever so happy. I think that's Aaron. In one dream, they did the vow of Ios. They must be believers as well. He was blonde. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's not the only blonde guy in, uh in Athos, or whatever the country is, but, you know, I'm pretty sure, uh, that's him. So, this is what you want me to translate? All right, leave it to me. Fair enough, and now let's give her some, let's just talk to her. These dreams, how are they related to the Masters? Are they living weapons? Are they from the other world? I just don't know. We just have to do what we can, I suppose. Fair enough. So, the Masters are living weapons. Created 50 years ago. It's horrible. Bringing something into the world. 
just to use it in a war. They didn't really use them in the war. They sort of sealed them away at the top of towers. So, I mean, it's still wrong. That's not what I'm saying. It just they didn't really use them for war. So, what, what was their point? Why are there monsters? Protect the towers. That makes sense. Towers. But they're they're terrible. Like we can deal with them with one penis tied behind our backs. Maybe they were brought to life in some horrible experiment as well. It's so sad. My theory is that they're people. They're, they're probably... I think they mentioned something about that. They're, they're sort of, you know, mutated people. What's up? Right, I think we're done with this. With, with our chatting, let's give her some, some stuff. Some... Nymph water time... Oh, this is broken. Okay. I guess we could repair them. Uh, we can give her... Some sweet... No, it's not here. What we want to give her is in the trunk, actually. And it is... Where is it? Oh, there it is. The flowering plants? It's beautiful. Thank you, Aaron. It cheers me up just looking at it. Fantastic! That's what I was uh, aiming at. Quality metal? Yes, that as well. Ah, oh, I think I can use this to attach a pouch to your bag. You could use it to carry medicine. Yes, that would be great. Now. I'll fasten these two parts together, then make a hole here, and sew these flaps. Done. There you go, Aaron. You can carry some more things in your bag now. You're fantastic. That was quick. Nice. Your bag got bigger. Pretty cool. And now the last gift, which should be the leaves. The pure tea leaves. I don't think I have anything else that I can give her. Tea leaves? Thank you, Aaron. There's nothing better than a cup of tea. I can't wait to find out how this tea tastes. Pretty cool. All right, I guess we're done for today. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.